I'm so troubled that I had to go get a protein bar. Is literally called the same thing in both palettes. Alrighty then. So I've been messing with like my lighting and everything in here. So it's gonna, we're just, we're gonna have to mess with this for a little while and figure out what's gonna work. How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. Welcome to my channel if you're brand new. Um, so today I thought I would take myself to the movies. I love to go to the movies by myself. It's like one of my favorite things to do. I love going to the movies in general, but I just love going to the movies all on my own. I've done this. I've taken myself to dinner and to the movies alone since I was like 18 years old. It's very empowering for me. It's something I just love to do by myself. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. And I figured if I'm gonna go out in public, I might as well put some makeup on. And I just got this in the mail yesterday. This is the new Urban Decay Wired Palette. The moment I saw this, it gave me flashbacks to the Electric Palette. This palette is one of the very first palettes from Urban Decay that I absolutely fell in love with. This is one of the first palettes that I used all over my YouTube channel, and you can see why. I love this palette. I own actually a few of these. So when I saw the Wired palette, I was like, oh my gosh, this is basically the Electric Palette's like Little Sister Volume 2. But not so much. I was very excited to open this and um, I will start this video off by saying I have not used this palette yet. <sighs> There's some shades in here that are okay, but in comparison to the electric palette, I was a little bummed and I'll kind of tell you why. And I love Wendy and I love Urban Decay, but my job on this channel is to give you my true opinion. So I'm not trying to hurt anyone's feelings and if anyone from Urban Decay is watching this, I love you guys. Maybe I'll end up liking this palette, but from just like, Opening it, I'm a little unimpressed and I'll kind of go over why. First of all, um, a few of these shades are straight up the same exact shades from the Urban, uh, from the Electric palette. As you can see, the blues, the dark blues are identical and these orange shades are identical and the pink shades are somewhat identical. So it looks like the green on the new palette is a little less vibrant than the one in the electric palette. It looks like they kind of still went for somewhat of a, um, let me do this so I can point, that might be a little easier. This shade I think is just kind of interesting. Like this isn't something you could wear on a daily basis or even like a weekly basis. I feel like maybe I've ever dipped into a shade like that maybe once. I think this is actually the same shade that Urban Decay has in another, like a single. These are pretty similar. The difference is that this one's a little less bright. And then the lime green here is a, is a bit less bright than this. And this is more of a kind of a satin. And this looks a little more matte. So for me, when I first opened this, I was a little disappointed because it kind of feels to me like a, just a dumbed down version of the electric palette. Like, why isn't the pink is, pink is vibrant, especially if it's for the face and body? So I was a little disappointed with that. I wish the lime green was a little brighter and had a little more like oomph in it. The new Wired palette is $39 and there's actually a Wired collection that comes with a liner, some lipsticks, and some 24-7 Glide On eyeliners, which I didn't receive. I only received this guy in a PR package. So that's the only thing I'll be using today. What else here? I want to say that the purples are pretty similar. This one up here is a bit more of a iridescent, like it's more of a, I don't know how to describe it, like a blue purple kind of. Those are kind of my initial thoughts, just looking at this and kind of comparing the two. I'll let you look for yourself, but also I just had to say, this shade right here is such an ugly ass shade. Like, I don't know what I would do with that. I would never put that on my eyes, like not in a million years. Um, I just think that is just a very, I mean, maybe if you were blending this one out, I guess, but like maybe if you're blending this guy out, but this is just so blah. Like if it was a little bit brighter or like maybe a matte version of like this guy over here, it'd be a little more interesting. But looking at it, I'm just like, okay, that's 
not a cute shade. No, it doesn't look good. Also, I don't really know the point of this like super white shade in here. Like that's just not something I can really get down with. And like, I feel like everyone has a white shade laying around and you rarely use it. So why waste a pan in here for that? So I feel like I'm ripping this apart. And I, 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 I love Urban Decay, I feel bad, but it's just, it, it just is what it is. Like those are my, those are my initial feelings about the palette. To be fair, I've always loved Urban Decay's quality and um, attention to detail. So I'm, we're, we're gonna do a look with this. I will say that I'm slightly uninspired by this palette too, because I don't know. I don't know. I just, I don't. Mm. Four to six weeks later. I'm just, these are just so many duplicates. Like if you, like the electric palette has, is his own thing. Like why take some of the shades from it and just pop it in a new palette? I, that kind of bugs me a little bit. No, it doesn't look good. Oh gosh. Okay. So wait a second. Slow burn is literally called the same thing in both palettes. And so is the blue. I'm so confused right now. What? What you're meaning to tell me they... Okay, they named it the same thing and put it in the palette. Why is there no... It's just kind of weird to me that they, they've just glossed over the fact that they straight up put the same shades with the same names in this palette as the electric palette and didn't address it or say, Hey, we've brought back some of your favorite shades from the electric palette. Like just over here, like trying to make sense of what I'm seeing. And then I see that it's called like the literally the same thing. <sighs> so if you already own this palette, you don't need this one. Is that what I'm, is that what I'm, we're figuring out here? Okay. This is a <laughs> uh, whole place. I'm so troubled that I had to go get a protein bar. I also went back downstairs to grab um, the PR thing as well as the box. Oh, by the way, the box is really rad. Love this artwork. It seems very lazy to me personally to take old shades that were already in a palette. Like they weren't even just singles and it's like, okay, cool. Hey, we put some like really cool shades together in a palette for you. They literally grabbed they grabbed four shades from the electric palette and just put them in here with the same exact name. Am I missing something or did they just think they were going to put this out and no one was going to notice that a bunch of these shades are from the electric palette? I'm going to use these two right here and then I think I'm going to put an orange in the eye area in there. Okay. Quite a bit of kickback in that. So I'm grabbing that. I did my base first today. Um, just cause I usually don't. <laughs> so I was like, I'm going to try this today. So I'm just going to use this. It's kind of, it's pretty. It's just kind of blending out and nothing. I'm going to dip into the electric palette into thrash and see what happens. way more pigment. It doesn't like feel good to, like I am a huge fan of Urban Decay and I still will be after this palette, but it doesn't feel good to have to like say things that aren't necessarily super positive about a brand that you really like, or even if you don't like a brand, and I'm gonna go into the electric palette a little bit on this one. Um, it's not really fun to like, I don't know. I'd rather be able to say positive things, but I also have to be honest and you know, some brands get upset when people are honest and I just, I'm not saying that they're going to be, I just wish I had more positive things to say right now. I just, unfortunately it is what it is. And I don't, I'm not going to like lie about something just because I really love a brand, like just to support, you know what I mean? Like at the end of the day, you guys work really hard for your money. And I'm just giving you my opinion. And maybe this palette is totally worth it for you because you don't have the electric palette, but honestly, I would go find the electric palette somewhere because it's a bit more pigmented. I'm adding, I'm just building up um, the green called Thrash from the electric palette because the one in this palette is just not really giving me the payoff and the pigment that I want for this look. 
And that will be the last one from this, from the electric palette that I go in with. I'm gonna go in next with um, Current right here and I'm gonna put this all over the eyelid. That's really pretty. That one is one we don't have in the electric palette. We have more of like a, we've got Fringe, which was more of like a teal. I'm gonna try it with my finger. Oh, that's better. When I'm doing a shade like this on the lid, I like to put it on dry first and then um, make sure it's blended up like how I want it to be. And then I'll go back and um, spray my brush and do another layer just on the lid so I can get all the glitter and sparklies that I need. This looks really pretty together. Loading some of this shade Current up on my brush and then I'm gonna spritz this with the All Nighter Setting Spray. Oh my gosh, my arms are sore from the gym. And I'm gonna put that right on top. See how much more like shiny that is once you wet it down a little bit. You can see the difference between the two, so pretty. Really like that shade. I'm all trying to be like positive about something. I do actually really like this shade though. I'm gonna go in with the uh, Urban Decay 24 seven glide on pencil and overdrive. This is not from the collection. Like I said, I didn't get any of the other items from the wired collection, um, but I'm gonna put this in the waterline. I'm just gonna kind of blend this out. One eyebrow and two eyebrows. I wanted to talk about something that I actually really love because it kind of pains me to talk so negatively about something in a video for so long. Um, so I did want to show you guys, not show you, just add this to the look. This is a Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter and Distortion. This one has like flecks of like green in it. So I'm going to actually add this to, I didn't know until I was about to say it. I was like, uh, here. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna add a little bit to the inner corner here just to give this a, like a little something extra. And I absolutely, my phone needs to be put on silent. Um, I absolutely love the heavy metal glitters. This is one of my favorite things that Urban Decay makes slash made, came out with, whatever you wanna say. I have these in every color. I don't leave my house without them when I travel. Like I always bring these, I love them. I also love the Urban Decay Brow Blade. I use it in my brows every single day. I can't live without that, honestly. I tried the other day and I had to drive my ass to Ulta and buy more because I just, I had to have them. Oh my gosh, my hair is so tangly. If you uh, are interested in extensions, tape in extensions, you have very thin, fine hair, you just wanna know about them in general, I did put up a video recently about why I'm never using tape-ins again. It's pretty interesting. <laughs> Check it out, I will link it for you. This is the NYX Cosmetics um, Nude Suede Shoes. I was wearing this one recently and I posted a picture on Instagram and I couldn't remember the name of it. I asked somebody, asked me in the comments, I think I said something so random. Like, I was like, nude something, something I think. <laughs> very helpful over here, very helpful. And there is lip liner on my mustache. We are headed in the right direction. Okay, um, here's the look. I really like what we created here today. I think it's um, really pretty, but I also don't think we would have gotten this great of a result if I hadn't dipped into the electric palette into this shade right here, which is a lot stronger than the one that's in the wired palette. I just realized that I never ate the rest of my protein bar that was like $7. Okay, great. <laughs> I kind of went over my overall thoughts, so I won't bore you to death with it, but in my opinion, if you're going to take that many shades from a previous palette that was such a staple and such a loved hit, do it better, not worse. So to me, I wouldn't touch this palette. I wouldn't buy this palette. I don't think, I think $39 is a good price point. I think it's okay if you don't have the electric, but honestly, the shades in the electric palette are better. They're just better. I like the selection better, except the silver in, in the um, electric palette. That's one I really don't ever use. But I love every other shade in the electric palette. The wired, meh. Some of them are kind of just blah. Like that lavender is just like 
super ugly to me. I, I don't. Maybe it would look pretty with the dark purple faded out. I'm gonna have to try that. So I shouldn't like talk too much shit about it right off the bat, but just looking at it, I'm like, wow, that's really lackluster. Like it doesn't, it's not bright. It's not poppy. Like it's just kind of like muted, meh. So overall, uh, I'm not super impressed with this palette. I just, I really wish that they would have, A, said something about the fact of taking four shades from the electric palette and done it somewhat as a tribute to the electric palette and just made it better. Um, I don't feel like it was better. I think it was worse. The pigment's not as great. The lime green is not as good as we saw today. So I'm just a little bummed overall and I'm sorry that I had to talk badly about a product from a brand that I love so much that I've even created a collection with. That's how much I love Urban Decay. So don't get me wrong, it's not like I'm turning my back on the brand. I just, this specific palette was a complete miss for me and I will be giving it away and I will be continuing to use my electric palette. So if you're interested in bright colors and you don't have the electric palette, I highly suggest finding that somewhere. You might be able to find it on eBay, something like that. So that's the palette you wanna get. Um, but don't let my opinion sway you. Like if you love the way Wired looks and the packaging is beautiful, it really is, then you go for that. Like don't let my opinion like sway you. I'm just here to give you the information in my opinion, my thought process using it. So I don't wanna offend you if you have it and you love it. Great, I'm so glad. I'm gonna go to the movies now. I'm so glad that I had the electric palette to bump up the lime green, but I think this turned out really beautiful. I do really like this shade that's on, um, the lid, so don't get me wrong, I don't hate everything about this palette. I just, I have my issues with it. <laughs> kind of like an ex-boyfriend, you know, you got, you got your issues, like you still love who they are and who you fell in love with, but they just have done some shit you don't really like, and you know, you don't have time for that anymore. So, Wired, sorry, I don't have time for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'm really excited to read what you have to say. I don't know where this is gonna go. I don't know if you're gonna kind of like feel the same way or if you're gonna feel completely different or who knows. So I wanna hear from you. Let me know in the comments and thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.